Quiet on yeah. set. We have August Alcina here. He's a superstar now. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Side 9 7 Morning Show. People disrespecting the, the God, <laughs> the light skinned God. <laughs> August Alcina, what up, man? But every time I come in here, you hit me with that. Because, I mean, you rep well for us. First time you came here, Mr. August Alcina, you were literally nobody. Like, you were trash ah. on the street. Yeah. Oh, man. What? Come on, come don't on, do me that. No, he was just, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Why are we helping this guy out? But now, woo, fire. Superstar. You know, you should help the ones that come from the bottom, though. Nah, I know. We always do. You should. Nobody ever gives us credit, though, except for Rihanna. Did you see her Instagram? Oh, uh, yeah, and everybody was like, Scythe, don't gas yourself. Yeah. Over that. I did see that, actually. Okay, did you gas it. yourself? Yes. <laughs> yes, August Alcina. No, nah, he's one of my favorite artists right now, Ebro. Tell us why, Scythe. This kid is, he's like a rapper, but, but he sings. Mm. So his song content is everything you want like in a, in a rap song. But it's sing, sung melodically. So it's amazing. like street um, stuff. It's like when, like for me, when I listen to some R and B albums, I feel like I'm listening to a dude sing to a girl. So it's hard for me to listen to it. So you telling me when I listen to an August Alcina, I don't have to feel some type of way. I it's feel not, like I'm listening a to guy, a. I mean, sometimes he does, but it's not a guy singing to a girl. It's a guy's perspective mm. on what he's about to do. Or the life he lives. That's pretty good. They talk about me like I'm not here. That's great. I was just gonna now say, did we do a good job explaining you yeah, how you I, go about writing your music? That's pretty good. I mean, it just really what I do is what I feel, and just you know I'm honest. So however I feel at that moment, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Really. Yeah, but people don't. Most R&B singers are just all love songs. I mean, but that's not you, that's not real though. Yeah, you that's have not. a song like like Downtown is one of my favorite songs, which Thank is you. unfortunately about. Your brother being killed. Yeah. And it's like every time I listen to that song, you get choked up, yo. You get choked up when I listen to that song. And that's exactly. That's the feeling you was going exactly. for. Exactly. And then what's crazy, if you ever listen to his EP, there's like kind of like, I guess he's like interludes where he's introducing the songs and he breaks down and cries on, on like the last one. And it made me almost break down and cry. <laughs> it's emotional. It's real, man. This kid is real. I, you know what, man? Um, before we put that out, and I think even the last conversation I had with y'all, and this is the same thing for the album since my album about to come in April. Um, plug, but <laughs> it was, I, you, didn't, you didn't have to <laughs> point it out, <laughs> sir. Next time, don't point it out because it was clean. It was clean. <laughs> it was clean. But nah, I, I always I I deal with you know like how much of myself do I I give to people, uh, like you know how honest should I be because I mean you would never tell the next person your business just up and tell them you know? I used to <clears throat> I would I, back in the day I was very very private and to a point where it hurt me a lot with my career and my relationships but lately I got I've gotten therapy and now I'm open up a lot more so that's why when I listen to your songs I feel it like you open up and yeah. before I used to be like how could you say those things yeah. now I'm like I respect it. Now, trust me, it it definitely was a struggle because you know, yeah. I, I mean, sure. we as artists, we get judged, right? As humans, as humans, period, right? So it it was a struggle for me to, but kind of give all of myself like that. But at the same time, I always say like I I would be cheating myself. I'd be cheating the people because it's so many people out here that's like me. Yeah, and that can, as you said, that that can relate to that. So right. that's really what it's all about. You know? Man, I'm proud of you, bro. Thank you, bro. Very proud. Like, I appreciate um, it. They call me the old man, and I didn't learn until later on in life that I was blessed um, to have a microphone because mm -hmm. um, I've been on radio since so I was 15, and I didn't actually know that I was actually getting therapy because I got to share my ideas mm. and I got to share my pain and my fear every day yep. and get paid for it. Yeah. So don't ever. Um, hold back yeah. because whatever you're going through is someone else going through that same shit Believe that. and they don't have the blessing that you have Believe that. they can't put their words together and sing songs and True. have uh, somebody to record them yep. and travel town to town they in their house yep. going through their stuff and they need you yeah. and I, I think when as especially as men right you don't get to hear men talk about <clears throat> fear yeah or pain or love 
because we're so busy being macho yeah. that uh, we try to make everything be cool. Nah, nah, fuck that bitch. No, fam, she hurts your feelings, yeah. my nigga. Exactly. Your feelings are hurt. Just say You're it. let down. Everybody always talk about Drake, but I I, I rock with Drake, man. Every, yeah. uh, evidence suggests <laughs> so does everyone else. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what they saying. You see those album numbers. Believe that. Nah, but you got to listen to when people diss Drake. If you ever really listen... It's like, man, he too emotional. I mean, I'll be listening and all that, but <laughs> too, I, I, I listen to his whole album four times, and he's too emotional. Yeah, like, it's a total like, contradiction. <laughs> like, it don't make sense. They are listening. Yeah, it, it, it don't make sense, man. So I appreciate you. So um, as we get into this next album in April, and you're touring right now, mm -hmm. what are you learning about yourself and about your fans while you tour with 2 Chain? Um, and Pusha T. Well, this is actually kind of my, like, real first... Tour, so it's a tour like, bus. You on yeah, a tour bus? Yeah, that's yeah. that's cool. Ooh, let's talk about it. <laughs> nah, it's see, I, I just got started like yesterday. Oh, so okay, all right. I I'm just not kind of getting in the groove of everything, but it's cool because you know you, you you dream of that, like to have like this my tour bus. That's and dope. Everybody that's here, they in here, you know, because of me. So I I think it's a blessing, man, to to be able to to do to do. And it. you provide for. How many people's families put food on the table? Yeah. Yeah. About doing what? Shows, singing, Shows. stuff you love. Doing what I love to do. Now, I'm on a tour bus, as, man. as a man, once Can I go again, on your tour bus? Come oh, on, yeah, man. go on the tour bus, Sife. Because I know on that tour bus, he has some excess. <laughs> as he should. Some extras, <laughs> some leftovers for you, sir. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, as a man, I, I, you know I'm gonna be a father here pretty soon. I got a child on the way. On the way. Congrats, yeah. buddy. Yeah, and I'm I'm 38, so I waited um, because I I too had excess <laughs> as a young man, more than my fair share. And let me tell you, sir, go on out there and <laughs> go get it. Go on out there and sow your royal oats, and be honest about it. The fucked up part <laughs> is, too many of us go out there as young men, and we lie to these young girls, and we hurt them. And we break them. I mean, shit. It, I mean, it's the same thing. That's what girls girls do the same. They thing. do it. Yeah. But a lot of us get the blame because we do it at a, uh, I should say, higher rate. Right. We 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 are a little bit more animalistic in our conquests. Right. You understand? Know you understand know what I'm saying? We're swordsmen. Yeah. I guess it depends on who you're talking about. Like who? It depends on the person. So on, you're on, you you fall in love. I, I do. I'm a lover. So you want a monogamous I, I'm, relationship I'm a lover. right now? Hell no. Oh, so what are you saying? I'm 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 a lover is what I'm saying, but I'm a lover when I want to be. Like it, you know, it got it take it takes something special for me to like really be like, yeah, that's that's me right there. And I'm young. And I and even at the same time right now I still don't every I don't have a thousand bitches. Everybody think I do. I really just don't have time to so how many you got? Nine ninety nine. Yeah, nine nine. Nine hundred ninety nine. But a bitch ain't one. <laughs> how many? <laughs> how many? So we so we could talk rotation talk. I'm the king of keeping a stable and a rotation. I was clean with it and I did it for a long time. So I understand <laughs> how you got. Look, I could we could go through the blueprint. I could Listen, lay it all man, out for you. All I'm gonna say is that. <laughs> I'm a young nigga and I ain't trying to get no disease. And a lot of these oh, bros yeah. got diseases. True. Okay. So you Be never careful. go in uncovered. Of course, of course. You know, safe sex is is the is. I, I won't say it's the best sex, but it's it keeps you from having a disease. But it's not the best sex. I'm not pr promoting un for you to have a no safe sex, sex is the, the best sex. And let me tell you why. From somebody who done rolled the dice many a night in these streets, <laughs> because you don't wake up the next morning like my nigga. <laughs> I might die. I believe that, <laughs> yo. Because after you blow that, never mind. After you finish. <laughs> That you because you, now you're not thinking about it no more. Now yeah. you're over it. I'm finished. Yeah. Now you're like, oh, I, I might have killed myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, I might die tomorrow. Or oh, if you find out somebody she messed with a year ago, oh, you're like, that nigga dirty. Oh, God. <laughs> I've been there. Damn. I've been there. I've been. <laughs> and you ever t um, was, you know, about to talk to a female and you found out that a nigga she talked to and you was like, you, you fuck with that nigga? Oh, oh she's finished. Yeah, I can't. can't. Yeah, no, finish. I, I, off. Yeah, I can't. Finish. Off. Finish. Finish. <laughs> Yeah. I don't do if I know too many one too many people that you've been with, and I don't respect them dudes that you've been with. I yeah. can't fuck with you, and especially if you don't fuck with one of my homeboys or somebody that I'm cool with. I can't fuck with you. What about like, on the road? 
like when I been when I used to be on the road back in the day with Little Kim and stuff, and there'd be girls and be like, "Oh, Mace was just here last week, or so and so was coming next week." I'm like, "How you know that you go to everybody's yeah. after party?" Yeah, yeah. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Big cool, she, man. She looked over phone. She got pictures with Big Sean, Pusha T. Well, now you can MC. And she probably that's probably with all her uh, her brothers. Oh, you know that's my brother. That's, my brother. <laughs> that's how they go. Like this girl last night after the show, she told me, "Yeah, um, you know you cute. You know Pusha T. He like my brother. Why is that? Why? Why is that the second thing that come out out your mouth? I was like, okay, cool, bitch." <laughs> Oh, Cancel. This guy's got the good life. <laughs> nah, it's, it's amazing, man. And uh, <clears throat> once again, I am proud of you. you. Seem like your your head is screwed on right. So the album coming, the tour is happening. Yep, April fifteenth. Testimony. We got the um, first single off the album. What is Fire. It? Make it home featuring Jeezy. <laughs> Listen, man. Why every time I drop something, you ain't on it? What I got to do? What I got to do? Because I'm make? I'm hard on you, young cats, boy. He is. I'm hard on you, young <clears throat> is, cats, yo. boy. I just, you know, your dog. That's 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 no, a good man right ju- there. He just vouched. Honestly, you know? that's my dude. You got a good team promo, but you should still, especially for the big spots, you should hit people yourself. Believe that. You should hit people. I mean, anytime I hit him, he always hits me back. But he never asked me to play nothing. Never. Nah, he doesn't never have to. to. He's August Alcina. Nah, nah, man. Happen. I, because I, you know, I, I honestly feel like. I can ask, but it it's gonna be what it's gonna be. But and if not, you rock with it, you nah, rock with it's it. Not, it's not. I know artists feel like that, but you gotta understand, we get thousands of emails a day. Exactly. And it's it's if it, it, you gotta remind us, you right. gotta remind. Not you. That. You and me is good. For sure. I play everything. All right. But I'm just saying, like some people, you gotta remind them. Just a little. Not like. Annoying, it's like, yo, dog. I don't know if you know this, but my album's coming out April. Here's a new single. Just want to let you know. Now you I'm gonna it. just keep 100. Most artists hit me, and it's clean, and I appreciate it. What the fuck, Ebro? Play my shit. I like that. I want to know that you upset that you got that fire. You understand know what I'm saying? Because when I know that you upset, you got that fire, and you believe in your shit. Now I'm like, okay, because too often, too often, people think it's just a gimme. Right, yeah. it was easy to get in the game. Not and, at all. You know, now with the internet, everybody think they popping because they got so a bunch of yeah. views and a Twitter and a this and a that. And I'm sitting back here like, okay, all right. You know what, man? A lot of people, <clears throat> I they see me and I guess kind of get a vibe that I'm not excited. Um, well, you laid back. Yeah, like I'm not Cypher excited about same, what's going on. Cypher. Cypher has the same problem. <laughs> but in all actuality, it take a lot to get me excited, but it. I think in our reality, it, what it really is is that, like, th- I know that this shit come and go because I seen it happen. Mm. So, and I, and I seen it happen because a lot of people that came and went, they could have stayed, but niggas stayed. get so caught up into they bitches. Get gassed. Like, they niggas get, gassed. get caught up into like this you know a little little baby money that you getting fifteen twenty thousand dollars for a show that shit and you, and a broke nigga. Like he think he rich now. That's, that's that's now a lot of money for me. You know, like should I? Yeah, but until your next hot song, mm. that's gonna, that money's gonna slow up. You gotta live, and you got a hundred people leeching off of you. So yeah, it's not that you know. I don't I don't be excited. It's just I'm cautious. Are you pacing yourself? Anything. Yeah. This guy's good. Yo, this guy. And look at his eyes. They're sleepy like mine. I think I'm the fat Puerto Rican August. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be April Alcina. <laughs> I like September. You have to go. You can't be before <laughs> August. My birthday. Oh, hey, September. You gotta be September. Man, August. let me tell y'all something. That reminds me of a story where I went into this. Um, <laughs> this you just building. sounded like a grandfather. That reminds me. <laughs> I was of gonna a say. Story. I was gonna say I can hang out with him because he thinks like me. He's old. He's old. He's been around. <laughs> what happened was, man. I, I remember, like you know, going into these labels and meeting. With these execs and everything else, and I went in and dude was like, "Yeah, so what's your name?" I'm like, "I'm Aug, Aug, Aug August, hey, August Alcina." Oh yeah, you know they have another artist by the name of August Out. So what we might have to do is change your name to August September. You, you <laughs> lying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't be mad at them, man. 
I'm not. I'm not. They I, throw I, out ideas. I just they do it all day. That's why. So what? There's another August. So what? Is your name? August September is arguably the worst shit I've ever heard in my <laughs> okay, life. That, it is the worst thing. <laughs> and whoever came up with that idea, I know you don't want to say a name. <laughs> Go put them out there. You're fired. Get the fuck out. <laughs> 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 Yeah, listen, check out our guy, August Alcina, if you haven't. I know if you love R&B, you're probably up on this cat already. <clears throat> um, but if you an old head like me and you just ain't, you you around here talking about ain't no good R&B out, this is that shit yes. that we've been looking for. Something don't that you wait can, for the album. Something Get you can ride to. Because I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't even listen to half of this rap shit that come out. That's why most of you niggas don't like me, because if you young and ain't been through no <clears> life, you on a record talking tough, I can't relate. Believe that. And mind you, my my days is rough enough to where I don't want to get in my whip and hearing somebody else screaming and hollering and talking about a bunch of shit that don't matter. That so nice. when I listen to your shit, I, I'm not, it's something I could ride to. It's something yeah. I could cool out to. It's something I could be in the car with my lady to. You know what I'm saying? And um, I appreciate you for that. You know that, that <clears throat> Thank you, bro, because it means a lot to me because, for one, I know that New York is um, one of the hardest places to kind of really just grab uh, people's attention. Yeah. And, you know, as a man, like you said, a lot of people really ain't listening to quote-unquote R&B. And I was coming, I think, was it here? I was coming here. The last time I came here, it was two dudes um, just walking by, and they just went bananas, New York style. Right, <laughs> my nigga. Oh, I fucked with you. yo. This him. <laughs> and the other dude was like, who, 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 yo. And he was like, this is August, right here. Man, they went nuts, man. But the story that he told me, <laughs> it's that cool, like, man. It's nah. like Wu Tang no, right no, up no, on no, no. Yo, <laughs> It was real, man, and I think it it had to be like. They had to be fresh out of prison, man. Like, <laughs> for real. But or or just from East New York, which is you know, what <clears throat> I mean? yeah, same one of the two. Said, yeah, yeah. He said the same thing. Fresh out of prison. Either yeah. either way, it was love because not too many people get that type now, of. Response. Can I tell you something about New York? <clears throat> A lot of you out of town artists look at New York and is and is in the same way that you do. First of all. <clears throat> It's mad people here, like more than other towns. So it's just a lot of people. Eight million just in the city. But there's the same amount of people that love you anywhere else you go. They just spread out, one. And two, like when tourists come here, not saying you're a tourist, but when tourists come here, the reason why it seems like New Yorkers have an attitude is when we go into work and we come in from work mm -hmm. and you in the way. We have an hour and a <laughs> it's half. It's Wednesday at 4 30. We have why an hour and a half train ride. Shit, <clears throat> and you standing there looking up at the building, so it seems like we have an attitude. I guarantee you, <laughs> son, if you go to the hood and you go to these little spots, more than just the regular routine <clears throat> where you're doing a show, if you go around, you'll see all the same love you get everywhere else. It's just that if you stand this, if you come out your label and it's 539 and somebody's on the way to their train, you in the way. Move <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> and that's it, really. Like, people got <clears throat> mad love for you. Now, Saturday that's at love, 1 o'clock. Saturday on Flatbush and Fulton, oh, people yeah. hanging out. The show's nice. You need directions. You want to chop it up. You want to grab some food. It's all good. Wednesday at 12 noon, I got yeah. an hour to get Yo, this lunch and get back to work. To if you don't get the fuck out Chipotle my way right now. <laughs> like, if I'm going to lunch right now to Chipotle, the line is out the door. <laughs> Move out of my way. Yeah, man. <laughs> I like New York, though. I got a lot, nah, of, you lot, get a lot of love. No, you get love here, Jay. That's what's up. Man. August Alcina, ladies and gentlemen, on the yeah, 97 Morning Show. We paying yeah, attention. Yeah. We watching this dude. Let's get into the new single, Intro for the People. If I don't make it home tonight. Tell my mama that I love her. Leave some flowers for my brother. Girl, I love you. If I don't make it home tonight, take some money to my sister. I don't ever want to chase after niggas. Cause where I'm from, niggas out you dying every day. And they ain't no bad. They just trying to make a way. And I ain't no different. So if I get missing, these are my last wishes. I hope you get them right, girl, if I don't make it home tonight.